Baseball in the Burrows is presented by Verizon. Verizon is going ultra, so you can too. Tell us why Montez was their number two that they ended up landing. Because they needed a number two starter in the playoffs. That's what they were targeting here, Sal. So when you look at the next tier of guys like Noah Syndergaard, et cetera, it wasn't that. It was more Yankees getting Jay Happ in 2018 when it was like a back of the rotation piece. So once it didn't work out with Castillo, and it wasn't going to work out because the Seattle Mariners made a really aggressive offer. In order to match it, the Yankees would have had to trade Anthony Volpe. They weren't going to do that for anybody but Soto or Otani. They would have had to go much deeper into their farm system uh, to get Castillo. So they pivot to Montas. I think it helps here that Brian Cashman and Billy Bean of the A's are really close friends. I felt like that was going to be an easier conversation than the one that Cashman had with Seattle. Not that Bean's going to do any favors, but, you know, there's a chemistry there uh, that helps between GMs. And Cashman just knows, Sal, you and I have talked about this before on your radio show, on this show. Brian Cashman is in right now. This is like, he's been doing this a long time, and he's like, this is a year where you get aggressive and push your chips to the middle of the table. They gave up a lefty pitching prospect in Ken Woldachuk, who's a really good prospect, who they really like, uh, but Cashman's like, no, this is, this is time. This is the team. And that's why they pivoted to Montas and not something less. And between that and the two relievers they added today and, and Andrew Benatendi a few days earlier, this has been a really strong trade deadline season for the Yankees without giving up Volpe, without giving up Oswald Peraza, or the other shortstop. Cashman knew what he had to do, and he somehow did it without feeling a ton of pain on the prospect side. Baseball in the Burrows is presented by Verizon. Verizon is going ultra, so you can too.